Welcome to Blue Talks. And also just the interpersonal communication of calling each other more just because we want to say I love you on your birthday with the voice and hear that sentiment as opposed to the cute message on Facebook or the text with a thousand emojis. I still think that that's the part where you know, my phone barely rings anymore. I mean, there was no, it's almost like a, a assertive, overly assertive to call someone. Like, well, you have to schedule the call. You, nobody just calls out of the blue anymore. That's just something I grew up with. You know, you called and you spoke and you miss somebody, you called them back. Um, and that's something that, that's part where I still feel that that's a, there's mission in there to pick up the phone. There's one person today that you know would want to hear your voice. Mm. Pick up the phone and just call that person. Psychology of Achievement, Brian Tracy. Anybody familiar with Brian Tracy, psychology? Okay. He, uh, he was a Napoleon Hill student, and he's still around. And I remember specifically the law of attraction, the law of expectation. And it's where I actually got my first affirmation from a psychiatrist by the name of Emil Coué. Anybody familiar? This is the affirmation. Day by day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. And this was a program. He ended up, he was a psychiatrist in the 1920s who was also a hypnotist and a pharmacist. And he combined all of this and was one of the fathers of, of auto programming, self hypnosis, the ability to get into a relaxed state and verbalize over and over again how to change our movement. So this has been around for a while. And I really gleaned onto this notion of what an affirmation was. But then I had the ability to concretize it and really go deeper when I had the opportunity to co-create an affirmation meditation app called Haven. And in my research, I found out really what an affirmation is. I mean, I assumed I knew it was a present positive statement, right? I am, I have. But if we look at the definition of affirmation, which I got from the dictionary, it's the act or instance and state of being affirmed. The assertion that something exists or is true. Something that is affirmed, a statement or proposition that is declared to be true. You notice what's missing? It doesn't actually say positive. It's what we affirm over and over and over again, either positive or negative. So what are we affirming? We have to be thoughtful about that, right? And so the other thing that I discovered was these thoughts that are making us speak these things over and over again. How many thoughts a day do you think we have? Thousands, right? How many thousands do you think? I was shocked to find those. Not quite so much, but that's about 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day downloading, downloading, unchecked, downloading. And how can we have so many thoughts, right? Because we're a lot of times on our autopilot, right? If we're not mindful, if we're not fully in this present moment. Right now, I'm fully in this present moment. I have to be thinking about what I'm saying. But when I'm driving the car and I'm going to the same places I always go, and I get there and I don't know how I got there, because my body knew what to do, I was thinking. And you know, when you're washing the dishes and you're supposed to be mindful, like, who washes the dishes like that? We don't. We're thinking. And according again to the science, these thoughts are the thoughts from the day before, and the day before, and the year before, and the year before. And they're what drives us unless we change the program. So I thought I would show you someone who's my mentor that I learned a lot with the power of affirmations and see what you think of it. Jessica, take it away. Now, my whole house great. I can do anything good. I like my school. I like anything. I like my dad. I like my cousins. I like my aunts. I like my Allison's. I like my mom. I like my sisters. I like my dad. I like my mom. I like my hair. I like my haircuts. I like my pajamas. I like my stuff. I like my rooms. I like my whole house. My whole house is I can do anything good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was that 
unabashed love, fantastic. And now this video is, is viral, right? 20 million views. And it makes you think, why is it that we all love this, this video? Because that part of us that wants to feel that free to say it that way. And if you think about it, right, part of the reason we love it is she's this carefree child. But if I myself put myself in that video, would do the same thing. You know, maybe be, I wouldn't get viral. People might think, Ooh. but I want to give permission for us to do this. Maybe in our private bathroom, but while we're feeling so good, I want to show you, I have this up on my mirror every day. And it's from the law of attraction of affirmations. Wonderful, I found it. I put it up there and I remind myself every day to say it. Because sometimes I look at it and I'm like, oh, I know this stuff I downloaded it. <laughs> no, you gotta say it. So I thought we would do it together. Are you guys up for that? Really yes. loud, kind of want to pump it on, pump it on. I'll say it, you repeat it, and let's do some, uh, let's channel some Jessica, shall we? Yeah. So, ready? I am, I am happy. I am happy. I am healthy. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wealthy. I am secure. I am secure. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am positive. I am positive. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am confident. I am I am courageous. I am courageous. I am excited about today. I am excited about today. Doesn't it feel good? Right? Yes. <laughs> That's the cool thing. Is that you can do this today, tomorrow, the next day. But if you say it enough, then you say it enough, then you say it, it changes the program.